The Valleyfield Central Railway, which had recently formed a partnership with the Northwestern, has many preserved engines that are still in service. Stevenson, Remembrance's brother, is among these engines. Like Remembrance, he is a mixed traffic engine. He helps out with the goods and passenger trains on the main line, but he also has his own branch line, on which he collects slate from the Jackson Heights quarry. One morning, Stevenson pulled off the branch line into Rattlesnake Point Junction to collect passages from Enterprise, and E3 Pacific, who also lived on the Valleyfield Central. Morning, Stevenson. Beautiful day, isn't it? Hmm. If this is one of your vain attempts to try to motivate me, it's not working. You're still upset about your sister leaving, I reckon. Yes. First, she's taken out of service for that overhaul of hers, and now our controllers open that new Lightweight Express service, only to postpone it, so that Remembrance can stay on Solar for a while. I mean, seriously, whatever is this railway coming to? I thought they were about making life better for our steam edges, not worse. Oh, come now, my dear. Remembrance is just filling for Gordon until his repairs are finished. I thought Mr. Cavendish told you. And besides, you know that our railway's only trying to help out another railway. That's how we all came to be here. Now come on, where's that smile of yours? Must you do that every single morning? Cinders and ashes, things have been hard enough for me as it is. I realize that, but this is a great opportunity for remembrance. Especially since she gets to see your famous cousin Thomas again. Oh yes, that cheeky old fuss pot. And speaking of great opportunities, guess who's going to be pulling the Valleyfields flyer from now on? You guessed it! Solario and I will be doing that. Goodbye, Stevenson. Wish me luck on my first run. The Valleyfields flyer runs between the big stations at both ends of the main line only stopping at stations that have junctions. Davidson and Remembrance would often take turns pulling the train before Remembrance went away to be mended. Stevenson loved this train. It was his absolute favorite job. But now that Remembrance had taken charge of the lightweight, Mr. Cavendish and Mr. Butcher had given the job to Enterprise and her brother, Solario, to take in turns while the other one handled one of the main express trains. Later that afternoon, Stevenson was pulling the mixed goods train bound for Barrow. As he approached Motor City Station, he saw Enterprise there dropping off passengers. That evening, Stevenson arrived at San Luis Sheds. He'd had an exhausting day and was glad of a rest. Enterprise and Solario were already there. Well. That does sound exciting, my dear. Oh, I know. To pull a train of such prestige, it's just such an honor. And to take over for two of our dearest friends, too. Speak of the devil. So how was your day, Stevenson? Well, I wonder what's gotten into him. I'd never known him to be this bad-tempered. Oh, never mind him, Solario. He's just upset because he's not the one pulling the train anymore. Never mind. Never mind. You know, one of these days, one of you will have an accident. I've seen you both pull that train. You think you know better than I do. <laughs> we'll see about that. 
rubbish. We're much too sensible for that to happen. Why would you get that idea? From experience. One of my classmates had an accident with an express, oh, several decades ago. Rammed to the back of another train, damaging his front severely. And given the circumstances, you'd think they would repair him. Oh no, they sold him for scrap right afterwards, because they considered him to be beyond repair. Mark my words, it can happen. And he backed into his shed and went unhappily to sleep. The A3 siblings would continue to take turns with the fly over the next several days. They would have the time of their lives with their runs, and the two controllers would often congratulate them. All Stevenson could do was watch them with dismay. But a few mornings later, Stevenson would be in for quite a surprise. Rick Brewmeister was the railway's chief engineer, but he also took on many odd jobs, especially for the two controllers. It was never easy for him to handle so many jobs, and everyone seemed to wonder how he managed it all. Morning, Stevenson. Morning, Rick. What are you doing here with our controller's special clipboard? Well, Stevenson, I have this special clipboard to make sure you lot do your jobs. <laughs> But in all seriousness, your controllers put me in charge for a couple of hours until they return from their meeting. And it says here on the schedule that you, Stevenson, will be pulling the Valley Field Flyer today. Stevenson was surprised but overcome with joy. And without a second thought, he rushed to the station to pick up his tray. Ah, uh, Stevenson, what are you doing here? I'm here to pull the flyer again, of course. But that's Enterprise or Solario's train. No offense, Steve, but your days of pulling that train are numbered. Not today, Cameron, my dear. Today this train is mine once again. Just ask Rick. Rick. I might have known. Are you really going to believe that guy? Well, he was just filling in for Mr. Butcher and Mr. Cavendish for now. But if that's the case, why not? Suddenly, he felt his excitement get overshadowed by his doubts as he waited for the passengers to climb aboard and for the guard to blow his whistle. But as he was starting to clear the station's throat, he saw Enterprise pull in. I'll show them these body fields fly material. I know this train better than they ever will. Um. Why is Stevenson pulling the Valley Fields flyer? I thought that was my job. That's what I tried telling him, but no. He had to automatically believe what that Rick told him. Wait, Rick was the one who told him? That's what I heard. Just the Rick rushed over to where the two engines were standing. I'm so sorry about that. Enterprise! I seem to have made a mistake and put Stevenson on the flyer. I knew it. I knew it all along. You see, it was supposed to be taking work back to the quarry. But how could such a thing have happened? Apparently, I got your timetable. And Stevenson's mixed up. Well then, I guess I'll have to put you... Enterprise, on Cory duties for now. Oh joy. Well, Rick, in case you haven't figured it out, Enterprise can't do that job. She wasn't made for branch lines. Alright, I'm sorry about that. I'm just a bit tired, that's all. Four years. Four years I've gone without screwing up a timetable. What would Quentin or Rufus think if they were to hear about this? If I were them, I'd fire him in a second, that's for sure. In that case, I'll see about getting Preston to take over for you when you reach Rattlesnake Point. But what about Stevenson? But he's already left! Yes, yes, but I meant, what are you going to do about warning him? Right. I'm on it. Now this is how you pull an express. <sighs> if only I could still share it with Remembrance, though.
Ha ha ha! Low lava duck! Well, isn't this a surprise? Will Stevenson! There's been a mistake with the timetable! Sorry, Preston. No time to chat. Well, at least slow down, lad. What do you think you're after? The newest works? And sure enough, his words came at just the right time. They hadn't gone far when Stevenson began to feel pain on top of his firebox. Oh boy, this is not look good. But I mustn't stop now. Oh. Ah. Okay, I should probably stop. Stop, stop. We can't, lad. We're not even at the halfway point yet. Keep going and we'll stop at the web station. Oh, but that's too far. Quit your whining, Stevenson. It's not that far. But Stevenson was right. As his pain worsened, he felt the trade speed slowly decrease. He struggled for a few miles until he reached the second junction, where the fly was meant to stop. Wilson, the B-110 engine, was already there with his tray. Come on, boy. You can do it. You're almost there. Shut up, Wilson. What's happening to me? I think I'm going to fall apart! Stevenson's driver skillfully shut off steam and applied for brakes. Still wincing in pain, Stevenson stopped with only his boiler at the platform. Hmm, Shane, I was real hoping you'd make it, boy. Oh, really? Ugh. So was I. Back at Rattlesnake Point, Enterprise was just being uncoupled from the workman's train when the station master ran up to her. Enterprise! There you are. I just got word that Stevenson has broken down at Rupert. You better go and rescue him in his train immediately. Unless you're busy at the moment. Not at all, sir. <laughs> Funny enough, I was meant to take that train instead of him. And I thought he knew the train better than me. Blimey! You better hurry, Enterprise! That train's on a tight schedule! Yes, Preston, I know. Meanwhile, the passengers in Stevenson's train were cross at being stuck inches from the platform. Hey, what's the hold up? Yeah, I'm almost late, dude. Everyone please, Stevenson's fusible plug has melted from running at such a high speed. You see, the fusible plug, which is found on all steam engine fireboxes, acts like a safety valve to prevent them from overheating. And if that melts, the valve stop working, and Stevenson's boiler could overheat and possibly explode. So bear in mind, the situation could have been a lot worse. One of these days, I'll give you something to complain about. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, my, Stevenson. For someone who seems to know more about that flyer than me, you sure have forgotten a few things. <laughs> For instance, your train's supposed to stop at the platform, not away from it. <laughs> hey. You'd be doing the same thing if you were as much paid as I was. And in case you haven't noticed, my fusible plug's melted. Alright, alright. Cool your boiler there, Stevenson. Alright, that's enough, you two. Now, Enterprise, do you think you could pull us to the workstation and take the train onwards? Just what I was supposed to do anyway. What's that supposed to mean? Wait a minute. Rick got our timetables mixed up, didn't he? That's what I was afraid of. So Enterprise was coupled up and pulled Stevenson and the train further along the platform. Some of the passengers were now able to disembark from the coaches and rush onto Wilson's train. Once Wilson had collected all of his passengers, the guard blew his whistle and Enterprise set off determined to make up for lost time. As the 
trade sped through the countryside, Stevenson was impressed to see how well Enterprise was managing the trade, in spite of the extra weight behind her. Maybe my time with this old flyer is up. Enterprise sure is doing a better job of it than I ever could. They reached the workstation without further mishap, and Enterprise shunted Stevenson into the works before the train was due to set off again. If you'd like, Stevenson, I could always put in a good word with the two controllers. Maybe then you could pull the flyer again, alongside us. Thanks for the offer, Enterprise. But my time on that flyer is done. I don't understand. You loved pulling that train. Why, if I recall correctly, you were mortified when you heard it been given to Solerio and I. Yes, I was. But I've seen how you and Solerio exchanged that tray, and it's incredible. Just like how Remembrance and I do it. But now that Remembrance has her own service to look after, money in the valley fields fly just isn't the same without her. Oh, I see. The fly is yours now, and Solerio. But, continue to take good care of it for us, will you? Don't worry, Stevenson. We will. Stevenson watched as the A3 Pacific returned to her train. He was still upset that he could pull his once favorite train anymore. But he was also happy because he felt that Enterprise and Solaria would do this service justice as he and Remembrance once did.